Germany. Who will say that something happens without the Lord having ordered it? First, remember that it was in Africa that Abraham was enriched in Egypt. Second, Isaac visited Africa and was blessed. Third, it was in Africa that Jacob was richly blessed when famine struck the earth. Fourth, it was in Africa that Joseph became the father of Pharaoh, the prime minister. Five, it was in Africa that the 12 sons of Jacob were spared the plague that struck the earth. Six, it was in Africa that Moses was born and became great to liberate a whole people. Seven, it was in Africa that the people of Israel amassed wealth and went out with gold, silver, and precious stones to build the tabernacle. Eight, it was in Africa that our precious Lord and Savior Jesus Christ took refuge to flee Herod. The only continent where he found refuge was in Africa. Nine, when Jesus had taken the way to the crucifixion, it was our African brother, Simon of Cyrene, who helped him to transport the cross. The African has touched the cross. He is entitled to the achievements of the cross. We carry in our body the marks of Jesus Christ. I rebel and say no to all the negative words against Africa in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have, we may not have the large hospitals that other continents have, but the African has a God called Jehovah Rapha. And I want to read to you in Psalm 91.1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. Psalm 91.7. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. In Exodus 23:25, you shall serve the Lord your God. He shall bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness from your midst. Dear ones, Africa is the richest continent. Africa is the continent of life and light and resources and refuge. Dear ones, Africa is the continent that God is now moving up. And what I appreciate so about Africa, when you study the Africa, the, the, the history of Africa, so much pain, so much rejection, so much slavery, but the Africans did not get bitter, they got better. And with people like this, God can move, can work. Dear ones, I believe with all my heart that we have a revival ahead of us that the world has never seen. And Uganda and the Africans, will play a big role in bringing in the end time harvest into the kingdom of God. Come, rise up, Africa, wake up, wake up and rise up. Your time of redemption has come and God wants to set up this continent to be a blessing to the whole world. I love you and I pray that many, many Africans will rise up, not in pride, but in godly fear and humility which means I want to make God big and I want to respect the orders of God. And then you will have riches, honor, life. I promise you, that is promised in the word of God. Shalom, shalom.